Hello friends, welcome to Friday Files. Today we're going back to the roots of the channel. We're playing horror games. Or is this a horror game? This game is called Demonologist. And it's a ghost hunting game. So if you are familiar with games like um, Phasmophobia, this will seem familiar to you. You can play this co-op with up to, I think, four players. But we are going to play it single player. So I think we just strips, jump straight into it. But it looks like we cannot buy any tools as of now and we don't have any in our inventory. We don't have any money and no experience. So I think for the first for the first hunt we will go in without any tools. Or we can buy Customize character as well. Buy new safe houses. You can customize our safe house and stuff like that. So I have never played this game. I played Phasmophobia, Phasmophobia a little bit. But that's a long time ago. And we can't even change the difficulty. Uh, it's unlocked for these levels. So that's it. I think we just have to start. See where this, this takes us. I haven't played this before, so I have no clue what I'm doing. But we are going to the abandoned house. Uh, let's have a look if it's recording. We are recording. I guess this is where we start up. And there's something we have to not just uh, hunt ghosts. We have to figure out what kind of ghost it is, and then I think we need to expel it or something. But this is our sanity, I believe. And this is cameras. I think we can set up our own cameras on tripods and stuff. So, metaphysical intelligence, pre-report. Case, blah blah blah, Mohamed Castillo. Even if someone is next to you, it will respond. Also, we can speak to the ghost. The game will listen to the microphone. That's gonna be... I know, maybe I can't speak that much. We'll find out. Use your tools to detect the type of ghost and open your tablet to select the ghost type. Optional objectives will be unlocked after everyone on your team has chosen the ghost. Okay. Let's have a look around, get familiar with this place. Okay, there's nothing, nothing here. So we have, I guess we have some equipment here. What's this? Ah, I think we can ask the ghost questions with this, this one. Maybe they will answer. What the F is this? I don't know. So how do we choose between these items? And what do they do? I don't know. So this is what we have for now. Do we have a flashlight? We don't even have a flashlight. Are we going in there without a flashlight? Really? That's not, that's not cool. <laughs> I guess we are. And we have to figure out what these stuff do. Can I see that somewhere? No? I don't think I can. I should have done that before we went in. But this is what we have. I have no clue what this th this thing does. Where do we go? Where do we go in? I can't see anything, so <laughs> it's pretty dark. Where do we go in? Ah, oh, here's the house, I guess. Ok, 
Can we turn on some lights in here, please? Hello? Is anyone here? The house is creaking. How am I supposed to do anything in here? It's so dark. Oh, we have some light. Hello? Is anyone here? <clears throat> okay, this is some ectoplasm or something, I think. <laughs> Maybe this can detect something. But I don't see anything. Why don't I have a flashlight? Hello? Will this do something when we detect... Oh. When we detect something, maybe. More lights. I think standing in the light will not will help us with our sanity. We could also get some sanity pills, but we couldn't afford any. <laughs> Is that a light switch? No, that was a door. It's so dark in here, man. <clears throat> How does this thing work? Is anyone here? What is your name? Huh? What? Who? Is that you moving the chair? crap it, it was here how do we get our tablet up there was something with a tablet right J ah Let's get out of here and read some of that stuff that will teach us the game. I don't want to stay in here because that will decrease our sanity, I believe. Let's go out into our tent and get a little bit familiar with this. Okay, introduction. Ghosts are restless spirits born of tragic, traumatic, or vengeful events. We do not know how long they have been around, but we are sure that they will walk among us. It has been said that they haunt places for very long periods of time and are known to play with the minds of the living. Some of these entities simply want to pass on, while some of them are far more insidious and malicious. We are tasked with dealing with the latter. As metaphysical intelligence, our main task is to locate the evidence is to locate the evidence these ghosts ghosts leave behind and compile it together in order to successfully exercise them. However, this is not an easy task. It's very dangerous, so you must be careful. There are many types of ghosts that we come to know about so far and all of them have their own unique characteristics. Without knowing what kind of ghost you are dealing with, your chances of survival are extremely low. This guide contains the information we have gathered so far. Please remember that they are not friendly beings. We do not want you to become another casualty. Get in the car and leave as soon as you're done. Okay, <coughs> so here's a guide. While out in the field, the main thing we need to protect is our sanity. Most paranormal activity will have a severe impact 
on your mental state, plunging you into the depths of insanity. Ghosts prey on the mind, they can sense your fear and will do everything in their power to weaken you so they can feed on your life force. It's in your best interest to remain in well-lit areas to maintain your sanity. We'd also strongly advise to avoid prolonged exposure to paranormal activities, as this has a devastating effect on your sanity. I know what you're thinking, but boss, don't we need to find the ghost and figure out what type of evidence it leaves? You do. It's all about balance, rookie. Okay. That's why we teamed up with some of the top pharmaceutical scientists to develop a strong, fast-acting benzodiazepine to assist with the anxiety, mixed with an antipsychotic to prevent falling to the state of psychosis, conveniently named sanity pills. If your sanity drops, you can buy and use these pills to raise your resistance to psychosis. Remember, you can monitor your sanity from the command tent. If your sanity drops too much and you run out of pills, it's in your best interest to leave the place so you don't lose your life and, more importantly, our equipment. <laughs> Is that more important? Well, thank you. Gathering evidence. Since the early ages, people have attributed swarms of insects to be related to some type of evil magic or curse. Cockroaches, in particular, are known to be sensitive to electromagnetic fields. This special cockroach in the EMF, okay, so it's an EMF detector that bored with the cockroach, will help you when using, help you when using this item, as some ghosts release electromagnetic fields, and they interact with objects. <clears throat> if you find measurements that reach level five, write it down in your journal because you just found solid evidence of a ghost. You have the spirit box. Some people just never shut up, even when they die. Thankfully, we got a tool that helps them and helps us. When you use metaphysical intelligence's pro pro proprietary spirit radio, when you ask a particularly chatty ghost a question, it should respond to you through this device. If it does, make sure to mark that down in your journal. Freezing temperatures. We all know that most ghosts are known to inhabit cold, dark environments. However, some ghosts prefer temperatures colder than a gravedigger's shovel. To detect this, you can observe the air around you. Chances are that if you see your breath, it's probably freezing. Don't mistake this for smoke. This is concrete evidence that you need to write down, rookie. Fingerprints. There are some ghosts out there who have a, a strange affinity for leaving their mark on things. Most commonly, commonly, these tend to be left on light switches and doors. You need to use a special UV light to detect these marks. Seeing these will help you identify the type of ghost, so put it in your journal. Easel canvas. Some ghosts are known to be prone to doodling. Hell, some of them are even as good as Picasso. If you give those ghosts the necessary tools, they can draw different pictures for you. If the ghost paints you a picture, please note that this is very special behavior and needs to be recorded. <clears throat> ESG. Some ghosts are sensitive to the electrostatic generator ESG device. Due to the amount of energy it takes for them to manifest, they will show themselves very briefly, likely in suspended state above the device. If you see such behavior, write it down immediately. In Asia, a special glass was obtained by processing stones extracted from a quarry hidden by the government. Don't ask us how we got our hands on it. That's classified, rookie. We know that some ghosts leave stains where they dwell. Thanks to this glass, we can detect the traces left by them. These marks are usually found on walls. Without this tool, they are impossible to see. 
you come across these ectoplasmatic stains, write it down. So I guess that thing we have is the ESG. Maybe. Okay, there's a lot to read. Optional, payment, exorcism. We have a few more pages. <clears throat> Assuming you're every bit of the metaphysical intelligence expert you're aspiring to be, you have a few side missions you can take on to earn some more cash. We know you're hurting for it. Each one of these missions varies depending on the locations you visit. Sometimes it's finding a harmless entity with our ectoclass to further develop our ghost hunting technology. Sometimes we need photo evidence to hand over to those weird occult magazines. Gotta bring in money somehow, right? Who knows, maybe we'll go on a scavenger hunt, but I'm getting off track here. Anyway, keep this in mind rookie. These tasks are optional and while the reward is pretty good, it's not worth getting yourself killed over. Make sure you are prepared and definitely don't let yourself get turned into ghost food over a couple hundred bucks. With that being said, if you are prepared and you think you are a big shot, knock these tasks out. They'll give you all the preparation and field training needed to begin the exorcism in that particular area. Remember that these missions can be taken up after you identify what kind of ghost we are dealing with. Because we are such a fantastic organization, even if somehow get the type wrong, you wouldn't make a mistake, would you? We still have access to these missions to get some cash on the side. I know what's going on in your head right now, rookie. What's in it for me? Well, pull up a chair, have a seat and let me tell you. I don't think this needs to be said, but just in case it does, the reward you will receive will vary according to the difficulty of your research and how thorough you are. This means that the harder the case and more tasks you complete, the more money and experience you gain from it. Pretty simple, right? If you successfully find out what kind of ghost it is, knock out the side quests and exercise, exercise the ghost. You better believe that you'll be swimming in enough money to keep you happy. I know, I know, money doesn't buy happiness, but it does help buy cat food. And cats are happy when you feed them, right? I think you know where I'm going with this. Rest assured, rookie, even if you somehow fail, Metaphysical intelligence will cover a percentage of the cost of the equipment you brought in. Keep in mind that this insurance will decrease according to the difficulty of your investigation. Don't blame us. Do you know how hard it is to get ghost insurance? I could imagine. Exorcism. Once you have identified the type of paranormal entity and successfully completed the optional missions, you have a choice. You can leave and collect your earnings and start up another contract. Or if you're brave enough, put the paranormal entity to rest permanently. Getting to this stage is very risky, so don't forget to keep your sanity in check. You can be sure that these beings will not take too kindly to being exercised. So use extreme caution when performing these rituals. Each location has a different method of banishment. There will be information about this in your tent. Do not forget to check it. Okay, I haven't seen that in the tent. If you successfully perform an exorcism, you can be sure that that metaphysical intelligence will make it worth your while. Okay, so we have some daily quests as well. You can have ghosts blow out candles. Okay. And these are all the types of ghosts. Oh, holy moly, there are many. I think we will go through these as we uh, gather some evidence. You know? <laughs> then we can read through this when we know what kind of a ghost there is. So this is where we can check things and and, you know, leave things out so we can guess what kind of ghost there is. Okay. 
Have you got any evidence it, will move? it was moving? The chair, but that uh, is not... That's not one of these things. We need to... ESG, ghost reaction. Or get spirit box responses. Because that's what we have, right? Oh. Notes. Okay, so now we know how to do this game. But this is our EMF. And I guess this is that ec ectoplasma thingy. And this is our spirit box. I guess this is the ghost busting thing or something. <laughs> I don't know. Let's get back in there. Hopefully we can gather some evidence and stuff. So we at least can buy a flashlight. No? For our next outing. Okay, that beetle is moving as we are moving. So I don't know what the detection with this things this thing would look like. I guess we'll find out. What was that woozing sound? Hello? Didn't we turn on some lights here? I can't see the light switches. You know? Here's one. Some more lights, please. It's a little workshop. Hello? Is anyone in here? I don't know if you are supposed to hold this or... Hello? Is anybody here? Okay. <clears throat> I don't know how this thing works. Oh, don't do that. Oh, jeez! That scared the shit out of me, man. I'm on edge. Hello? Is anybody in here? What is your name? That was not a light switch. Whoa, holy crap. Oh. I got goosebumps, man. What is your name? Get some evidence here, please. <laughs> it's so dark. I want a flashlight. Jesus Christ. Did that chair just go in behind this door? What happened there, man? This ghost is playing with us. That I can't see shit. Can I turn on some light here, please. Okay. 
Oh, jeez. It happened again. What? What is your name? Oh, is this because our sanity is strained, yeah? Well, let's get the hell out of here for now. Because we don't have any sanity pills. And we certainly don't want to die, right? Let's see if we get any money out of this. What does our sanity look like? Well, we're 78%. That's pretty good. Even if someone is next to you, it will respond. Ah, these are some optional objectives here. Correct the crucifixes. Find the sitting human silhouette using the ectoplasm, ectoplasma glass. Put the dead rats in the boiler. Exercise the ghost, find Mohammed Castillo's three missing fingers and place them in the ritual area in the basement. Okay. So I think our sanity is okay, we don't have to leave right now, right? It's not that bad. Holy crap, this game is scary. I should find some crucifixes and turn them to the right direction, but I can't see anything. We definitely need a flashlight, you know. So a sitting silhouette, you should see with this somehow. I guess this is the ectoplasma glass. What? Hello? Hello? Is your name Mohammed Castillo? Oh, yeah. Is your name Mohammed Castillo? someone walking somewhere but I can't see shit I want some light How are we supposed to? How do we get any evidence in here? And it's so dark, no? this thing work huh? is this I don't know <laughs> what ah! Ah! holy f holy fuck man what the f 
That scared the shit out of me, man. I have no clue how to get out of here. It's so dark. What is this place? Magna. Holy crap, that scared me, man. What is your name? I don't know if I have to release it like this to get an answer or if I keep it like this. What is your name? Is your name Mohammed Castillo? Are these bones? What the heck is going on here? There came a ghost woman out of this. Don't turn off the lights. <laughs> You're not detecting anything anywhere. I don't see shit. Please give me some more lights. So we had just seen some stuff, but that oh Jesus. But we have not gathered any kind of evidence, you know? See shit, man. Where's that room where we? We got evidence. Okay. Get some ectoplasma evidence as well. What? Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Holy crap. Holy crap, this is scary. Let's look at our sanity. So we got some evidence in here. Holy crap. Was it it was only level five EMF meter, right? Holy crap. Let's check how our sanity... What our sanity is on now. 63%. If we go back now... Do we get some money? Let's try. We can always go back, right? Going back to a safe house? I definitely am. Oh, we did not get any money. Come on. I want a flashlight. Give me a flashlight. Damn it. We can buy all kinds of stuff. Sledgehammer. Okay. Salt barrier. Pocket watch. I don't know what that does. So I didn't get even get any money out of that. God damn it. What? Oh, it was a wraith that was in there, I guess. Okay. So we have to look at this first, you know, see what our objectives are. 
But as we couldn't see anything, that was not an easy task. So if you liked the video, and if you like me to continue to play this game, leave a like and subscribe and comment down below. And give me some tips on this game if you know how to play it. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye bye.